Welcome to the show! <laughs> this guy got a mistletoe belt on! Gosh, that is bad. The whole plane smells like weed. Those were the days. It's a joke, you idiot! Looked in the mirror, I'm like, <laughs> Good old innocent fun. Welcome back, everybody, to Troublemakers, the podcast where each week we bring on a guest and they tell crazy stories about their lives. I'm your host, Dylan Krasinski, coming to you from a beautiful day in Astoria, Gorgeous. Queens. Oh, yeah. With me, as always, is my wonderful co-host, my number two, the man with the plan, Mr. Ray Zawadney. Oh, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction, Dylan. You're welcome. And uh, more importantly, I want to thank everybody that has been checking us out, uh, full video episodes on YouTube, watching all the shorts and the reels that my man here edits, and also listening to us on uh, on all those uh, podcast streaming platforms. And if you are one of the audio listeners, we love you, and we want you to know that you can do us a huge favor uh, by going out there and leaving us a rating and review if you are leaving us a rating we ask that it is a five star rating nothing less i do monitor that pretty frequently if i happen to see that there is a star rating mm -hmm. out there that is anything less than five stars i'm talking even like 4.8 if that is a possibility mm -hmm. i will track down your ip address which will allow me to track down your physical address and i'll take one of dylan's nasty little zin packs and i will shove each one of those pouches up your asshole individually 24 Whoa. milligrams I can't believe that was written on the teleprompter. <laughs> yeah, our, thanks, Phil. Thanks, thanks for typing up the teleprompter, Phil. <laughs> you, you can uh, go past Ray's threats. Uh, we'll start the episode. But uh, anywho. Oh, we, dude, let's get into the episode with us today. First time guest, longtime fan. Last time guest. <laughs> no, we're bringing you back every week. Uh, oh, yeah, dude, with that sultry voice. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Tilson. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Good Dude, to be here. Thanks for being here. I just noticed you have the Zins open and ready to go. Three milligrams. Is that not good? Is that unprofessional? Hey, no. I, I just think it's funny that you have the tin actually open. I never do that, but I figure it's going to be easier than, you know, being a pig, putting like, I don't want to put anything on your table. You've got mm. a nice setup here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Trying to keep it pristine. No, unprofessional was when Dylan used to just smoke his vape during the entire episode. Oh, thank God he made the switch. And yeah. then he, he, he would even try to do like the secret like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then come up and just blow a big cloud of smoke. <laughs> They're like, is he eating down there? What's going on? <laughs> dude, I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, I'm like the white Chappelle, dude. Yeah, yeah same idea. <laughs> Smoking on the pot. You're like the white Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking, That's sitting what they down. Say. Weird obsession with <laughs> trans women. Yeah, yeah, and vaping uh, in public on it, stage it performance. Is, it is an obsession. It's getting a little weird. It is, it's in every special now. It's every other one. John, he, uh, oh, he might he, be trans. Who knows? You know, maybe he'll come out as trans. Well, well, he, well he's, he's transitioning obsessed. into a public speaker instead of a stand-up comedian. That's one transitioning Oof. that he's doing. I'm taking shots at Chappelle. Yeah, you're taking shots, and I don't like it. No, he is my favorite. Come, just, comes for us all. I just, I just, I just yeah. wish his. Uh, you get older, you think your words are more important. You know, mm. you do, mm -hmm. it is the truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 he and he. Uh, did you did you watch the new special? I saw parts. I saw I, I saw enough. I still like it. Like I like enjoy listening to him, but like I do get weird about like the self serious stuff. He's a comedian. bright guy. Yeah, like he's yeah. he's got a lot of like fucking brilliant ideas yeah. obviously he's not as funny as he used to be no but i don't know it, it's tough to turn on a special if it's not like funny ray doesn't uh ray doesn't like watching him just listening i what do you mean like something about you i like to listen to him on the radio but then you know i see him on tv I, it's, it's something i don't like about the guy get, oh, yeah. get off the stool no i can smoking's I can, bad i could tell by his voice that was <laughs> that was that was Ray's racist. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it. John, John's been I know. The, John's been around the block a time or two. Okay, I know. Right? I've, I've, been a, I've experienced racism. With that? Uh, <laughs> I'm done. You know, come on now. I've seen that. I'm in the world. He's experienced that racism. He's pretty good at That's it. That's right. Yeah, People yeah. are racist towards me constantly. He's gone through a couple of rallies. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, hey, listen. Rallies, the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Burger yeah, absolutely. And fries. Good burger. Yeah. Absolutely. Is With, it a good burger? I don't know. I've never had it. I was trying to. Keep the bit going. Is that related to checkers? Probably. I don't know. They're all fucking okay. things I've eaten too much of, but yeah, should have yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a you black out when you do it. But uh, 2024. I'm I'm on dry January. 22 days. Are you okay? As of today. Yeah. No. 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 I'm not like. To... Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm John. John, beer I'm, and beer I'm and wine. <laughs> did you have Did you have any of uh, those withdrawal dreams when you got off booze? Me well, no. Now what happened? Because I also started the dry January, and I've been eating a uh, a diet with uh, very limited sugar 
and uh, also uh, limiting like like big carbs and red meat. Red meat. You're not eating red yeah, meat. I, I haven't really. I ate red meat once, and then I fuck. I ate the red meat and had nightmares. I could barely sleep. Red meat nightmares. I know, dude. I like that. Yeah, that I'm, I'm having like, withdrawal from being a fucking fat you're, asshole. You're, I need to go back to you it. You know what? You're not a true American. No, no. I'm not. I, I thought that you were. That sounds like PETA and, propaganda. Oh, that does Eat sound red like. meat and you'll have nightmares. Absolutely. That's like bullshit on like PETA Reddit pages. Yeah. Just like, you know what I heard? <laughs> I heard if you get off red meat, then when you start eating it again. What do you, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie to our listeners. I've never lied to them before. I That's know. What happened. You eat red meat and you fucking, you know, you have dreams about uh, rats invading your house. You're a rat that, what, that was the dream? Yeah, I had a dream that there were rats coming in every single crevice of my house. But the silver lining is is that I I owned a house in the dream. That, like, is, that, is, that is pretty good. I know. I was yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. get rid of these. Rats, so a, a house with a couple of rats, you know. You can I, figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> uh, rat dreams, I've had those too, though. Those are no joke. Oh, they, come, that, they come from everywhere. I'm definitely afraid of them, actually. Rats? Oh, dude, yeah. Like, like if you're ever walking down the street with me in Manhattan, you know, when they'll just, like, do the scurry across the street, I ha- there is, like, an I audible, like, <laughs> oh, boy. one of those. Yeah. Your girlfriend I, ever hear that? Yeah, she is. She, she knows. She knows. She's not uh, going anywhere, John. Yeah. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> she's, not the, she's seen way worse. I've things. got her okay. so. I've got her so brainwashed. <laughs> you should have seen her. You should have seen her ex. She's thrilled over the whimper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Um, yeah, dude, I, I fucking, I can't stand rats. I can't stand them, dude. Have I have, thankfully, Astoria, no rats. Have, yeah. you, have you heard the good news, guys? You, mm. you, of course, know about the rat czar. You know, there, there's a hired <laughs> position, I think 170 grand a year. Um, there's a rat czar of New York City. Is this yeah. for real? This is a real government position now. Uh, hired by Eric Adams a year or two ago. I don't know how they're using what metric they're using, but they're the least rats there have ever been in New York City. I don't buy the it. last however many years. That yeah, I don't buy that true. at all. Do you know I was talking to someone who uh, was raised in Europe, and they said that uh, it was my barber actually, my barber, uh, and he was saying that in uh, a lot of European countries, certain countries, I think he, I think he's from Turkey maybe, okay. and he said there there are no rats because the government doesn't um they just let cats roam free yeah, 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 so yeah, instead yeah. of rats you just have a bunch of like cats walking the streets which is way better i'll take cats over and they rats. eat the rats too. and also you need yeah. way less cats than you have rats yeah. you know it's like one cat can take out 10 rats new york city should just dump about a thousand cats into yeah. the lower east side and see what happens into the sewers just see what happens but release do, a bunch of cats give them little miners helmets yeah <laughs> do rats provide anything though absolutely they, i'm glad you asked ray oh wow uh they give you a little taste of nature in the city <laughs> <laughs> a little taste of nature. it helps you remember you're just an animal like some people mm. in the country see a deer in their backyard that's right and we just see a rat crawling I, on the floor when i see a rat I, restaurant. when i see a rat i give one of these <laughs> <laughs> Don't disturb him, he's, dude. I saw a he's rat crawling in that Cheetos bag. Aww. I saw a rat eating like a full Italian dinner the other night. Uh, uh, Walking on the train, someone spilled a full plate of chicken parmesan and spaghetti, and the rat was just feasting. A New York City on rat that meal. That's king of the rats because uh, they oh, yeah. the, all they eat is people food. And rats, if a fucking rat out in the woods is eating bugs and fucking whatever. Yeah. These, these are getting like. You know, four hour old Alfre- like fettuccine Alfredo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like there are there are fucking people in this island. city that wish they were having that. They're eating better than me. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you. <laughs> At least that's still hot, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I'm eating cold pizza in the morning. Dude, SpaghettiOs out the can. I remember when uh when Seventh Street Comedy we used oh, to we used to R. R. be down there. That was a thing. I heard about them. Place. And uh it was it was down in the basement, and there was the um like oh I know what you're talking about dude I, mm. I remember I remember I came back to the green room and it might have been you that I told about it is there was a girl like apologizing to me that she had to leave she's like oh, I had to leave early but everybody was so fun I'm sorry I can't say for I'm like that's fine that's fine and then like I'm about to close the door and her, she's standing there like talking to me and then all I see is this fucking rat the size of like a Yorkshire terrier yeah. beh- like walking on the wall behind her like 
so, like, dude, as close as me and you are. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm standing there, like, trying to shut the door on her, and she keeps talking, and I'm trying to be nice because I didn't want to go, lady, there's a fucking rat, and I need to shut the door. <laughs> and and I didn't want to scare her, and she keeps going, you guys are good. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And finally, I just fucking shut it. Oh, and, dude. Uh, she's, Those probably, rats. she's probably so, dead. So you're, uh, <laughs> you Those were, rats were so big there. There were king rats there. You, were, you weren't trying to distract her from seeing the rat? Were you just trying to save yourself? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, 100%. I was trying to... Well, well, but it's I, the oh, scene in the movie with, like, the... <laughs> Doors that are shutting, like keep it open, keep it open. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, when the garage is shutting, and like, yeah, yeah. No, there's no. a rat behind. It's like you. a scene from Alien. Oh, <laughs> I can't risk it. No, sorry, I have kids here. Dude, the amount of times that I had to just sweep up rat shit in that little alleyway yeah. was a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just spraying the bleach so that people wouldn't smell that there was rats there uh, an hour ago. A, le- a lesser comedy club booker. Owner wouldn't have done it. Wouldn't have okay. done it. Wouldn't even touch it. I'm them. here for the people. Would have just had you walk right in ranch shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, John, have you ever killed anybody? No. No? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Oh. Not yet. You're not, you're not closing the door on it. Uh. Well, you know, I don't think, you think a lot of people just like, what is it? Type one murder is when you. First degree. Pre- premeditated. Is first degree premeditated. You're talking about it like it's diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> type, one, type one. Type, <laughs> type, one. type one you're born it's with. Type, type two. Type, exactly. Yeah. You're born with that one. Type two is when it, it's like just passion. Passion murder. Yeah. Like it just happens. I mean, you can't predict those, right? I assume I won't. Oh, man. You might I assume I won't. yourself, too. You know? What if you're in a tough situation? That's scary. How do you think you would do it? Maybe a self-defense murder. I think that's the most acceptable. I mean, you're a big right? guy. Maybe yeah. with your bare hands. Uh, if that- it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Once Christ. again, this is the future. I don't know what whole. I, I, a lot of people can change he, over the years. He can't predict the future. That's one thing. I can't I predict say. the future. Do it. And if you say you wouldn't kill a woman with your bare hands, you're a liar because... You can't predict the future either. Okay. (laughs) Oh my God. Don't get me wrong. If there are Vegas odds, they're very low. I wouldn't put money on it. What's a, uh, oh, Vegas. I was like, what's a Vegas odd? (laughs) (laughs) What a a word, dude. What kind of, is that a hooker? Have you been reading the thesaurus? (laughs) I sure sure have. (laughs) The opposite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been on FanDuel for a bit. <laughs> Pretty intellectual guy. We'll give you, yeah, we'll give you uh, uh, plus a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are, you, are you a gambler? Uh, I do occasional sports betting. Yeah. But, like, nothing consistent. What's, like, your real vice? If you had a gun to your head. Uh, it's not putting, booze, putting guns to your head. Booze. <laughs> My it's, vice. it's booze? I mean, yeah, I, it depends. I go up and down. Yeah. Yeah, I go up and down. This, this, this dry January is not easy for me. No, I'm, I'm not, surprised that you've done it, buddy. I'm, yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm not doing it. You're not doing no, it? No, I'm not doing it. Sometimes I do it. I, I'm going diet and exercise. That's, yeah. that's the that's the thing. So I could tell. I'm not having any beer, just uh, hard seltzers, vodka sodas, you mm. know, health food. Bourbon. Bourbon. Tequila. On the rocks, baby. Yeah, that's you, my drink. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you do yeah. feel better, though. You, like, like, you know, the, the hangover is easier when it's not a beer hangover. Oh, yeah. It's the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. 12 beers kills me. White Claws were one of the best inventions. They are. I thought, Ray, I thought you were just going to, I thought you were going to tout dry January as like, you know, you just feel better. And I was going to be like, I hate this version. I thought he was doing it too. I I hate this version. I I wish I could. (laughs) It is so fucking boring. And not to mention, like, I just moved in with my girlfriend and we're both, we're both doing the dry January. And she had leftover from some party. Fucking just a case of Coors Lights in the fridge. Uh, I've I've had to I've had to endure. You know, it's playoff season. The Steelers were in a playoff game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love drinking when the Steelers win a playoff game. I really love drinking when they lose a playoff game, <laughs> which they did do. You're so unique. I know, <laughs> and they are just the only guy who does it. Beer and football. You know, I know it sounds crazy, and but you, it goes together. And you said I'm not an American. <laughs> you that's are, what I'm saying. You are an American, but red meat, red meat uh, nightmares. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> keep that to yourself. I have a lot of health. I have a lot. I have a lot of health problems. <laughs> okay, let's. Honestly, now we're saying. Yeah, what, what, <laughs> exactly. what are your top three health problems? I, I, let's I, I have. I have type one uh, <laughs> murder. Murder. <laughs> type one murder. <laughs> Got it. I have. I have type two GERD. Up. Oh, yeah. Type three acid reflux. Ew. Mm-hmm. And uh, type four poor. Diet and lack of exercise for the last twenty years. I can't catch those, can I? What? 
those aren't what we got. Those aren't contagious. I gotta suck your cock. (laughs) (laughs) It's all it's all transferred orally. We'll wait wait till after. Yeah, after the pod, all of a sudden you're gonna not want to exercise ever (laughs) in your life again. I'm like, did "Hmm." Ray touch me during that episode? Entire sleeve of Oreos before dinner. (laughs) Hmm. Did I catch Gerd from that guy blowing me? Did he blow me? (laughs) I took a quick nap on Dylan's bed. You know what I was gonna say when, when you do dry January, you do a dry month with with your girlfriend. You really, because you, you are bored. You know, you're just always more bored yeah. when you're drinking. It, it, it always is like, wow, you know, booze was doing some heavy lifting in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, baby, just you and me tonight. No friends, nothing. All right, glug glug glug. Bo- well, booze, booze. Does... Like, do you want to read next to each other? <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's tough for me. Okay, the 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 comedy club hang. Yeah. Right, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. without booze, yeah, is brutal. It's it is practice because I I've I've gotten months where I'm like, all right, I don't I don't drink on weekdays, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, this is you know this works, I could do this. But once you get back in your swing of things where you are drinking consistently, you're like, I could really use a drink right now. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm stuck talking to this dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's I'd also rather, a good, uh, it's a good way to get out of a social situation where you're talking with someone, you go, another drink. hey, I'm going to get another drink. Yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah. back. And then you never come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a way to live. And, and maybe it's a good thing because when I'm drinking, usually when I go to like a comedy club hang, I'm like, ah, this fucking sucks here. I don't know anybody. Let me find the one person that I'm friends with that's here yeah. and we'll just get hammered drunk. Yeah, that's how we're going to exactly. deal with this situation. A good drinking buddy. Oh, I know. It's great. Um, have you ever, this is a random question, but it, it I have it tomorrow. Have you ever had jury duty? Dude. I have to call it 5 p.m. today. Are you kidding? I'm not joking. Dude, I, I have to call it 5 I, p.m. I, today. I, I got a notice on January 2nd. It's like, what What kind of a sick fuck city <laughs> gives jury duty on January 2nd? It's a new year. It's a new me. I'm blossoming. Dude. Yeah. I'm on a diet. I'm Imagine. exercising. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine me and you were on the same jury. Oh, my God. That would be so sick. And it's a type one murder. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> Buddy. I, if I'm on a type one murder, I, I will never get picked, <laughs> but we're going to have to put a break in the podcast because Dylan's on jury duty. We could do like an on the road podcast. Oh, my oh, God. That would be a great right. episode. I'm just going to start doing episodes with the other jurors. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get the judge in. Oh, my God. That would be the best. If we just, if we're, if we're, uh, what do they call it? Quarantined? Uh, mm. They use another term for it. Though. Yeah. Like, sequestered. So, sequestered. Yeah. Exactly. We're sequestered and we're just backlogging a podcast. Like, okay, so today in the jury, there are two people still holding out <laughs> yeah, i'm sneaking right there in the hotel room <laughs> hey, we've got a we've got a rope ladder out the window uh juror number six keeps sneaking a man into his room once a week what's yeah. going on i think he's giving them information <laughs> then, then they listen to the door and i'm like five star rating and review please just do it make it happen uh, the, i've had have, have you ever had it no have you ever had it i i've had to go in i've never actually had to be on the jury i got Dude, I registered to vote in Pennsylvania uh, when I was like 18 and I've had, I've been called, like got a letter about eight times. Yeah. And the one time I got chosen and it really did kind of, did you see the show Jury Duty? Yeah, it was great. No, I didn't. It's it's phenomenal. Oh, dude, check it out. But, but that's what I'm hoping tomorrow actually is, is that I'm part of a fake jury. Bro, it was a straight up cast of characters. Like every, like it was, it was like straight out of like central cast. That's what they want, ideally, right? Dude, it was awesome. Different were, backgrounds and shit. Yeah, there, there was, dude. There was like one dude that was all pissed off. He was like, "Man, I, I got fucking. This better not go too long. I got Nickelback tickets for me and my son, man. <laughs> this is his first concert. He's nine. And then there was one <laughs> older lady talking about being. Uh, she was a nudist. And then the other old dude there was like, I can never do it, man. I can never, I can never be a nudist. And she's like, well, it's, it's normal. It's not like what you think it is. It's not all sexual. He's like, tell that to my dick. I'd be hard the whole time. <laughs> and it was one of these things where there's just all these like different, like, yeah. like a couple more like that. And then it was just me and another dude around uh. my age at the time. And we just kept like, like making eye contact. Like, okay. We're the only fucking two yeah, normal yeah, yeah. human beings here. <laughs> anyway, I've got some Coors Light in my pocket. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I took these from my girlfriend's fridge. That'd be amazing if a Me Too came out of jury duty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just oh, like, geez. all right, now that we've come up with uh, a verdict, um, we'd actually like to report another crime that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Juror number four exposed himself. He did. He kept talking about his dick. Cut the whole jury room. Yeah, dude, I can't. That's, that is what a coincidence. You're there. going in? I got a call 
tonight. Okay. So I was I had to call on Friday. I had to call on Friday at, now after five. I got a call tonight, but I'm registered to vote on Long Island, so I got to go out to the island. I'm to Queens. Uh, yeah. I wish it was Queens. It would be a quicker uh, trip for me. Uh, that would be way easier. So if you call, will you have to go in tomorrow? I don't think so. You, yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. At 5 o'clock. So, I mean, depending, I have plans. On, depending on your number. <laughs> I got to go see Nickelback with I gotta some guy's son. I got to sleep till 1130. I've, what are you doing? I've got a friend. You know you have a friend with a shitty job when they say this to you? You're like, oh, well, you know, you know, you get paid. And I'm like. <laughs> you know what I'm, you get paid? I, I, I'm like, yeah, I, I make more than what I yeah. get paid. It's like 40 bucks a day. It's $40 <laughs> a day yeah, yeah. to sit on a jury. You get paid. That's enough for one Uber Eats order. Dude, I was I was that guy. I was I was rooting for it to go longer. They ended up settling like last uh-huh. minute at that one, and I was getting paid from my shitty call center job for being. That was like a like a excuse. You know, yeah, yeah, like a paid. Did they give you this? So they gave you some money. I was still making money plus from my job plus the couple bucks that they gave you. I was like, this is fucking awesome. Dude. Uh, no, no way in hell they're gonna pick me to be on the jury. Um, but, but but this is randomized at this yeah. point when you're calling in, right? Because I'm calling in at five o'clock too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's based on nothing right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all random. It's yeah. totally random. You're, I'm assuming, just they're picked not, they're, off of a list. And they're not they're looking like, at my Instagram. Oh yeah. no, they're, they're like, not gonna look at your Instagram. Dude. <laughs> no, no one what? does. <laughs> 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 Bad news, you're not chosen for jury duty. Good news, I'm actually an agent. And, uh, <laughs> and Dude, you hear, I've picked, I've, you know, I, I've picked juries before. I've been up there, like, Caviar. picking people. Yeah, like 50 times. And uh, wow. the things that people say, like, on the record, out of earshot, are wild. Well, wild. Especially, well, especially when you don't want to get chosen. So if someone has yeah. the balls, not everyone yeah. has the balls to try to, like, sabotage it. Oh, yeah. But if you do have the balls, I mean. I've heard some wild racist what? things. Oh, of course. Like, oh, yeah. Can you can you share any of I them? mean, just things being like, you know, just based on uh, the way I was raised, uh, you know, looking at that guy, I know he's guilty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, Yikes. okay. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you know what? Isn't it supposed to be a snapshot of culture? Yeah. Like, those people exist. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Everybody thinks that they know the way to get out of it, too. Oh, you, everyone knows the guy. Yeah. Like, everyone has a friend who's like, dude, it's as simple as this. You all you got to do is tell them that you voted for Prop 26. And then they're like, okay. It's they, like, they Jerry, won't. you haven't paid child support in four years. <laughs> <laughs> I to be got honest, it all if you don't want to be on it, a lot of the times, like, if you just have an attitude, like, I don't want to be on it. I, this is a waste of time. I don't want to be here. A lot of the times, both lawyers are going to be like, yeah, I don't want this guy either. A lot of They that, want people who want to be there. A lot of... Pff- yeah, they want people who are going to pay attention to do your civic duty, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think you should be? I, I Honestly, I have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> I might miss a key detail. I have depression. I have anxiety. <laughs> um, I don't think I can sit here for a day. <laughs> You're like, hold on, he had the knife the whole time? They're like, yeah, that was like day two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm psyched, man. <laughs> the guy with the, the ADD. Sure, ADD juror. There's some key details. Hold on, the glove fit? <laughs> they were like, yeah, that was that was a big deal when it happened. You were right here. Didn't he play football for the Bills? What the fuck? That's a Hall of Famer right there. Innocent. <laughs> the juice wouldn't do that. Do you know do you know the theory about that? Uh, about the murder yeah, or yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, that he was mad and killed his wife. No, that it was that it was his son who did it. That's the conspiracy theory. Oh, something that his like son that. did it. And that's why he jumped in the Bronco to and drove away to try to, like, put all the heat on him. And that's why, like, certain things maybe didn't match up. They said the juice is selfless. Yeah. But then you see you see those Twitter videos that you start, he starts putting out, and you're like, yeah, maybe it was him, dude. Maybe it was. He is honestly one of the most fascinating characters to me. <laughs> the fact that he's on Twitter and he's active, and if you didn't know anything about O.J. Simpson, you'd be like, what a decent, measured man yeah. he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's talking about like black lives matter he's like listen there are a lot of conflicting opinions but you know just remember we're all from different backgrounds and da, 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 da. and i'm like holy shit look at mr sensible here <laughs> <laughs> nothing better than when he first got a twitter 
he was like trying to like post all these innocent videos of himself. Like uh, he was just like, they were just like normal, like run of the mill. He was like, Hey, I'm excited. I just did my fantasy football draft and I got Patrick Mahomes in the first round. And then all the comments were like, fuck you, you murderer. You oh. killed your wife. Oh, <laughs> hey, t- two of the best things I've ever seen. And he has to be conscious of this. He said, uh, there was one per- I think it was Rittenhouse. And he was like, you know, people have to be held accountable. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, dude, that's too perfect. You have to be a heel right now. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude, the interview. Have you seen the interview with the? Uh, he did it. I forget the lady's name, but where it was like, it, "What if I did it?" You know. Oh, and he does the fake and stab. He's like, ee, ee, ee. Dude, crazy. Well, they said there was there was a comic that was telling me a story about um, back like like there was a club in Atlanta. It was like a black comedy club that was like hopping, and like all the celebrities would come when they were going through, and yeah. said one time OJ came there. It was probably like four years after he, you know, post-murder, post-murder cell phones weren't a thing yet. And he got up on stage and was doing like, yeah, if I killed her, it would have been like this and was doing all that on stage. OJ was saying this. OJ was doing it oh like, with, like on stage with the comics when they were just kind of like riffing and like oh bringing celebrities God. up. And he starts doing that. And then I was like, well, was it like doing well? And the comic was like. No, the room was completely silent and uncomfortable. When it started to, like it was like everybody was having fun, and then the one dude that takes it too far was like, "Hey, if, mm. yeah, you know, f- uh, Hall of Famer actor, you know, yeah, not comic. The first over, can't, first can't, overall pick, first overall pick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, I like how your problem is more with his comedic timing. He doesn't have it all. He doesn't have it all. No, he he had the greatest quote ever, which was, uh, you know, I, I it's still tough for me to go back to L.A. because I know. Because I just know my uh, wife's killer might be standing next to me, <laughs> and, and, and you're like, "Oh, that's so good. That's so good." If this is just like an Andy Kaufman thing, just it's so good. <laughs> just blurring the lines of reality. <laughs> he could te- he, he he didn't testify, so he could say that he did it. Now he could just be like, "Yeah, I did it. Sorry." I mean, he uh, all but has said it. Yeah, basically. That'll be great. Like, just the memoir that comes out right right before the end. He wants to leave his kids something. Yeah, he's <laughs> written it already. And yeah, 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 once yeah. he dies, it, it gets Absolutely. put out for publication. Absolutely. That was uh, a tough year. I was hitting the bottle hard that year. Postmortem. Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wow. know, you, John, I know you've never murdered anybody, but have you ever gotten in trouble with the law? Oh, my God. Is that the theme? Oh, with it's Johnny the theme, law. baby. 28 minutes in, we <laughs> finally you get know the, fucking we so, the You theme. know what's so fucking annoying is that, like, I'm clearly not a great interviewer, and I try to do, like, a little thing to just lead somebody in, and then you guys just call it out right away. I'm going to turn this around on you and make you feel bad. Uh, if I wasn't comfortable with you, I would have never done that. All right, that's how comfortable this interview is. <laughs> yeah, that's me. good. If if these were oh, two douchebags I was buddy. talking to, I would be like, "Oh, funny, you should ask." Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Ray, I think. Well, you're then, doing hey, a great I job will there. settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing great. Do you feel bad? Do maybe, you feel bad? <laughs> maybe. Maybe I should end. Maybe this I should be January. a little more wooden over here. Maybe I should be a little more upright. Um, I'm kind of a puss, so I don't have an official arrest. No arrests. I got I've got speeding tickets. Uh, I, nice. I, I've got speeding tickets. Not one in a long time, though. Daddy learned. Uh, no, I, uh, I I did something once, and this is obviously uh, the, the whitest. <laughs> On Martha's Vineyard, I almost got in trouble once. <laughs> you're, you're fucking with me. I'm not joking That's at all. In, in retrospect, if yeah. a cop showed up, we would have been fucked. Uh, completely shit-faced, me and my two friends, 2 a.m. walking back home at 20 years old. We're not even 21 yet. <clears throat> And we see this like car yard. It's like a it's like a mechanics yard with mm-hmm. all these cars out in it. <clears throat> so we fucking walk around the side and we get in there and we're trying to turn on all the cars. Me and my two friends. <laughs> and we finally get in this short bus that turns on. Oh my god. Uh, only it was like I think it was like a standard, like there was a shift, uh like a stick shift, and my cousin got it going. And he got it in reverse, but it couldn't go forward. And we were going to try to take it to the other side of the island. So, so once he realized it can't go into drive, it just drifted out into the street and we just r- ran away. It was just completely <laughs> sideways across the street, two lanes. And uh, that night was great and it was fun. I woke up the next day. It, only till like years later did I realize, like, if a cop showed up, I think that is, it, Mr. Lawyer, like, that's a lot of different crimes. Uh, I mean, to be honest, Martha's Vineyard, they probably would have been like taking a look at your face and your hair and been like, 
Are you a little old for this, I sir? Had, I had brown hair then. Thank Did you? you. I, was t- I was 20. Uh, you know, they look at your face, they go, all right, we're going to take you to your parents' house. <laughs> yeah, they're like, do you have a rich dad? Good enough. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, you probably would have gotten in trouble. Are I you mean, the one like in this? Breaking and breaking entering. And entering is, for sure. That's reckless like, endangerment. Is that Grand Theft Auto? Mm. An attempt? An attempt, attempt. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, yeah, depending on how much the the bus was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the salvage yeah. of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The carcass of a bus. So, yeah, it, it was almost tragic. Maybe Were not. you too drunk in the moment to realize, like, the danger? I mean, I remember the whole experience, yeah. but it, it didn't even occur to me that it was like, you know, yeah. that it could be an issue. <laughs> Underage drinking, too. Yeah. That's the cherry yeah. on top. Yeah. Well, I've I've been with you when you're drinking, and you're you're a big guy. You're a tall guy. How tall are you? 6'3". Six 6'3". Three. Six three. Yeah. Well, shorter than Ray. So Ray's 6'4", mm-hmm. right? I'm 6'3". Okay. I was trying to up you a little bit, you know? No, yeah. I, I also slouch, too. You can say you're look less intimidating. But you are a big guy, mm-hmm. and uh, I've been with you when uh, people, I think, maybe just see big, tall guys and want fights to happen. Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah, yeah. that time yeah. we were at the bar there? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that you know the worst type some of, kid yeah the worst type of guy is a short guy with tall friends uh, and i've been guilty of that uh, i've definitely been guilty of that you definitely get bigger balls the bigger your oh, friends yeah. are oh, you hell know? Yeah. i've got a couple of friends who are just ass kickers and it's like if they're there it's like oh yeah. well i'm at ese yeah <laughs> yeah you get you get the like well my dad's right over there yeah, yeah, yeah. You i've, I've mess got the fucking me. incredible hulk right behind <laughs> me yeah we walked into the we walked into this bar i don't know if i ever told you this right we walked into this bar after a show and there's this kid there. He's probably like 5'3", wasted. And he looks at me and Tilson, and he goes, Oh, Grandpa's here. And I played it cool, and I was friendly. He did play it cool. But, yeah. but, he, but he, he kept going. And he it was kept like, chirping, and I yeah. was... And then I was like, oh, look at this little guy here. What's up, little guy? Oh, and then his his friends like slowly stood up like one by one. And I was like, oh, this happens all the time to this guy. Oh, man, a, a guy in his early 20s uh, who's 5'6 and has a little bit of muscle. Oh, but yeah. like he, he's young enough that he, he doesn't know exactly how to drink yet. Mm-hmm. Like he still gets pie eyed shit faced. And yeah. like he hasn't. He might be sober when he's 30. Who knows? Yeah. You know, like he's just a yeah. drunk. It's like, that's the guy who, like who gets like who starts shit. Oh, absolutely. Little man syndrome. Uh-huh. Doesn't quite Dude. know how to handle the booze. The funniest thing to do. I've only done it about twice with somebody that has like little man syndrome like that. That's been fucking with me. Yeah. And like, I never, I never start shit and I hate it. And I avoid it at all costs, yeah. in the bars, especially now in my thirties. But um, anytime somebody's getting like fucking like fucking with you like that, little dude like that, you just go, oh, man. That's hilarious. And they're like, what? You're like, I didn't know they made jeans that little. <laughs> <laughs> or just like something on the, oh, man, I didn't know they made little leather jackets like yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. And they get fucking furious. <laughs> oh, a- absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Little, I, I didn't I, know I mean, they made jeans that little. <laughs> li- little men just get shit on left and right, left yeah. and right. Women mm-hmm. are not even like apologetic. Honestly, if you change it to a race, the way some women talk about short men, it, it is like fucking 1850s Alabama. <laughs> Dude, I mean, they literally put it on their dating profiles. Oh, like, absolutely. If you're under 5'10", move along. And it's normally six feet. Yeah. You know, it's just like fucking like, holy shit, excuse me, uh, princess. <laughs> like, That's why I put, I mean, I'm technically 5'9 and three quarters, but uh, I put 5'10 on my dating apps for a long time. You have I to. thought I was 5'10". Dude, there are guys who are 5'8 who are doing that. Yeah, well, this They're I went out with like, like two women in a row, and they both were like, this was great, but you're definitely not 5'10". And I was like, what are you talking about? Of course I am. Oh, it's also God. wild for them to say that. Yeah. 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 I didn't say, like, this is great, but you're 50 pounds heavier than you were in your photos. Which we've all been there. Okay. Uh, I know. I catfish yikes. people all the time. I actually, I mean, I don't know. If this isn't troublemaker-ish, but this is a story that amuses a couple of friends. Yeah. T- talking about a, a Bumble date who was heavier than she said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is during the pandemic. I was single for the pandemic, so dry dicked and lonely. And I match I matched with this girl on okay. Bumble. Yeah. All right. I'm not sugarcoating it. Uh and we're going back and forth and like Saturday night, I hadn't even met her yet. She's yeah. like, hey my friends just ditched me. You want to hang out tonight? And she's like, this is my address. And I was like, Yeah, I'll come over. And uh I drive that way and I'm like, I've never met her. 
So this is like, you know, yeah. it could be a disaster. Yeah. I, I, call, I literally, I did the chick thing. I called my friend. I was like, hey, I'm going to this address in case this is two guys who are about to jump me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. I'm sharing know? my location. I, I, I share my location because I was like, I mean, if I wanted to rob a guy, this would be a pretty good way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I showed up and she was probably 40 pounds heavier. And I was like, uh. And, and listen, I'm a guy who has fucked to be polite. Okay. <laughs> I, I have fucked to be polite before. I was like, you know, this would be awkward if I put a stop to this. Sure. Now. All right. But I walk in and it's a studio apartment, so there's nowhere to go. All right. We're just on the oh, couch. And then she looks even bigger in the it, studio. It, oh, is she does. Yeah. Is, that, is this a dollhouse? Yeah. If she had a <laughs> five bedroom penthouse, you'd be like, you know what? She's pretty small. I'll be on the third floor. Uh, uh, she, uh, so, but, but the other thing is like, she had the worst personality. There was nothing to even like, if she was cool and nice. Fuck it. Pandemic. No one's here. No one can. No witnesses here. I could do this. We're talking about sex, not murder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm I just. Like you said no witnesses. Like normally when you have sex, there's always a dude there. Like, hey, can I can I say something for the fellas? OK, I know. And I, I, I Dylan can relate to this, too. If you're at a bar and you're no friend, no friends around, you are willing to go much lower than you are <laughs> than if, if your buds are around. All right. If you look around and there are no witnesses, you're like, you know what? Tonight's a three night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. I'll hate myself later, but no one will know. <laughs> Anyway, the girl sucks, and I'm looking around the apartment just trying to make conversation. I also got a little bit high earlier, which yeah. I would never do before a date or anything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I don't have my wits about me. I'm nervous. Um, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, that movie? I've seen that, blah, 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 blah. She gets up, and she pulls down her pants, and she bends over, asshole and vagina, a foot from my face. And she grabs my wrist and puts my hand on her ass. And I have, a, I have a handful of ass, and I just go, Katie, it's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no! And she pulled her pants up, and she said, get the fuck out. No, and, and she I was didn't. Like, Did I was she like, really? I was like, thank God. Because if she didn't say get the fuck out, I'm too fucking nice to just like be like, see ya. I, I would have I would have squirmed for ten minutes yeah. just trying to make it be like I'm not leaving because we didn't fuck. I, like, you would have watched a couple episodes I, of a show. Oh yeah, her. let's You'd watch know. Bewitched. Have you seen The Bear? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I get to the door and I'm, I can't figure out the lock. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she has to come over and opens the door and slams it the second I get out. And I just went. I, I remember. I just went like. <laughs> Why? Because you were holding your breath when she put her ass and pussy that, in your that's, face. That's right. I oh mean, my god! I said someone forgot to wipe. <laughs> Dude, that is a fucking bold move, man. Crazy. Uh, well, because well, otherwise, because I, I I used to live in New Orleans, and I had a night once where I this exact situation kind of happened, and I was too nice, and I was like, you know what, I can fuck for fifteen minutes, <laughs> <laughs> and. And her, and her psyche won't be shattered at oh the end of the night. Oh, my God. And I was like, you know what, John? You've grown. You're not doing that again. You're not that guy anymore. You know, that is that is a thing I don't think men get credit for. Like, what you did was to spare someone's feelings. Women are never going to, like, do something to spare feelings. Uh, pr Probably not. I mean, it, it was like, it's a, it, it is a pussy thing on me, though. Like, like yeah. if, if I had more backbone, because there was a moment in New Orleans when this happened, and it, I, I'll go through this very quickly. No, but, no. Uh, no, we love that, dude. It, it, New it, Orleans it, is the land of uh, I mean, this is, sin. It, it, it is the land of sin. It's the best place on earth. <laughs> uh, uh, I lived there for a year. I was 23. And uh, I went to this bar. It was like 80s night or something. So everyone's fucking dressed up. They're mm -hmm. like go-go dancers on the stage and shit. And I'm dancing with this girl who, and, and there are a lot of girls like this there, who has like a painted face with polka dots on it. And uh, it was a whiskey night. It was a long <laughs> one. <clears throat> and anyway, we're, we're, we're hitting it off as far as I remember. Mm -hmm. And she gives me her number and she texts me immediately when she leaves. She said, you should come over. So nice. I got in my car. I went to McDonald's. I got three McChickens. Oh, nice. Yeah. To eat myself. I was, <laughs> I, I was starving. I think you bring one for starving. her, two for you. When I showed up to her apartment, no more face paint. Mm. She was an old monster. 
I don't want to sugarcoat it. And I she, was 23. She was probably 37. And she and she had just finished. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want to sugarcoat hey, it. She, but she had like a baggy face. Like she she wasn't looking oh, good. Man. And, I, and I sat down and I was like, uh, and I remember she went to the bathroom at one point. And I was like, I could fucking dart out of here right now. <laughs> and that's when I was like, that would be so mean. She'll really fuck it. And I was like, you know what? All right. Let's let's do this. It just <laughs> gave some courtesy pumps and oh. was on my way. <laughs> <laughs> the next day she texted me she was like so are we still on for this weekend and i was like what did i agree to last night <laughs> oh dude drunk <laughs> plans are the best what did i bro? agree to and i was like i'm gonna be honest with you i actually have a girlfriend and uh, she was like well i just appreciate the honesty <laughs> 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 i was like all right well hey listen wow charity she, work. did like, you have a girlfriend like, okay. or no no i did not she was like i'll return the fleetwood mac tickets <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i'll see if they'll yeah, take yeah. The i'll refund. see if the six hundred dollars is refundable <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love the I love the girl that you uh, stood up to, and left that that is her move because she does, just sucked. Does, she was not likable. She but, was not. You can't tell through text. But like, I'm gonna no. tell you right now, that's not a first time move. <clears throat> I think I'm pretty special, actually. Dude, she's thrown that move out before. Oh, oh absolutely. absolutely. And, it. and it, she tried. She tried it out once before, and it worked. That's what I'm saying. And she got cocky with the move. You know, she called her friend after and was like, Susan, yeah, I did the, I did the asshole I, pussy in I, the face I, I move. I did the move. It's the yeah. naked man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did the move. Get this. It didn't work. All right? I went full spread. All men are the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked on Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom dove right in. Yeah, Tom no, dove yeah. right in. Nom, uh, nom, 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 nom. We have a we have a friend, a mutual friend. I'll tell you after the pod. I don't want to say his name on the pod. I'm a, um, I assume I can figure out immediately. He who used it to is. do this as a bit on stage, but he told me he matched with a girl on Tinder, Hinge, one of them, and uh, they were talking, hitting it off. They agreed to go on a date, and after they agreed to go on a date, she said, uh, oh, "By the way, I just want to tell you, um, I'm trans." And really? he uh, told me he was like, oh, I, dude, I felt so bad. I, uh, I know who it is from the impression. I, uh, I just, you know, I didn't want to like kill herself or something. So like, I agreed to go out with her. And he showed up to the date, and he said, "I go well, like, how was it?" I was like, "You're a better man than me." I was like, "How was it?" And he goes, "Oh, it was horrible, dude. She fucking, she was 25 minutes late. She was rude to the waiter." <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he was like. No, I don't like you. I don't not like you because you're trans. I don't like you because you're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is so good. I'd like this guy to just be like, just have no idea. Like he, he wants to be, he's trying to make up her. It's just like, I, I, I don't know, flowers? I don't know if flowers right for trans girls. Uh, here's a pack of baseball cards and flowers. Uh, <laughs> I got you the surf and turf just in case. I, uh, <laughs> eat whichever you please. What do you like, uh, uh, fidget spinners or roses? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you, one and one. What do you want? Uh, that's amazing. The second day, <laughs> crazy? once again, that's that's. Uh, I feel like that's backboneless. <laughs> like that's all they, that goes beyond nice to just like you got to just know when to like. <laughs> you got to be like that. Yeah, this is better. This, this is better for her too. For you not to even like yeah. drag her along a little further. Oh, yeah, and then, I, I would. I would have. I would have just not. That. I would have just not responded. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry for you. Like, I would have sucked her penis and called yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I would have blew. <laughs> yeah, I would have gave her a blowy yeah, yeah, and yeah. fucking. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have sucked a dick. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, "What a good clit! This clit! <laughs> this is the biggest clit I ever saw." Look at this sucker. <laughs> I've never found a clip before. <laughs> no backbone. I would have held her down, sucked her cock. And and never seen a clip. Your <laughs> yeah, clip's huge. Oh, you on testosterone? <laughs> yeah, you a lifter? Oh, I, I never oh, seen a, I've never seen a clip with balls. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. So anyway, I maybe, like uh, maybe could you put your clit inside of me? <laughs> I bet I could fit your clit and balls in my mouth at once. <laughs> I think in this scenario, I was just gonna say I would uh. ghost her, and now there's a cock in my mouth. <laughs> so you know we're mature. Oh man, <laughs> that's uh, that's amazing. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you who after. I mean, Ray knows who it is, obviously. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, You probably do, too. Well, but, I mean, that's uh, a more and more common story. I, I mean, like, yeah. uh, you know, especially, like, even if you're on the apps and, like, you're looking at the profile, like, they'll sneak that in. Yeah. It, like, a lot of time, you'll swipe already, and when if it's a match, you'll then study the, like, yes. the profile yeah. a little more, and you're like, oh. Whoops. So, I looked. I loved what I saw, and uh, maybe that's my thing now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a, this is a good question. I remember on Hinge, and I don't know if it's still like this. Uh, they you could filter your um, matches or your people that come to you based on race. I th- uh, are you still able to do? Yeah, that? you of, absolutely can. As of like, yeah, as of ten months ago, I'd say they can. <laughs> okay. You absolutely, yeah, you absolutely can. You can still do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is also a wild feature. It's very. It's a wild, wild feature, but everyone uses that filter all day, every day, with their eyes and their <laughs> and their preferences. Hundred percent. Yeah. But I do wonder if it is like a uh, you know somebody that's trying to like gather a collection of sorts might use it for that. Oh, you know? you, not like, not just on the belt. Like yeah, it's like it's Asian month. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to. Oh, you you know someone's done that. Trying you to close out the that. EU, you know. A- abso- absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm uh, I'm thinking Chinese tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do just that. No one else. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Deal breaker. Yeah, I, th- yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I think the original intent was like. Hey, uh, you know, I'm, we know you only like these people. You're, you're, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're Indian. Your family would be mad if you, if you brought home like a white lady. So we could filter it all to Indian, something like that. They were like, that's normal. That's, that's the culture. We'll, we'll be, you know, and then it's just one fucking white frat dude. Like, you know, oh, yeah, all yeah. right, this month I'm going to do, you know, <laughs> absolutely. And just to prove it to my guys, I keep a secret video <laughs> camera up in the corner of my bed. <laughs> I'm going to hit the cycle this month, yeah. Jerry. Hey, 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 hey. I need proof. I'm a bit of a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Boy who cried wolf over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fun. I feel like that's like a Donald Trump-esque CEO that okayed that. Yeah. You know, it's got to be the CEO that doesn't care about public opinion. Who's just like, mm. you know what? Fuck it. People want this. A couple of people are going to go ape shit over it. That's fine. I don't think anyone. I've never I've heard never anyone heard complain any, about yeah. it. No I've, one's ever said this is not good. I've never heard any negative. of This it. is not good. This isn't good. He is a sick puppy. Don't oh, be rude. Wow. You've got eight buttons. You know what all eight are? Don't be rude. Yeah, we got a couple. Okay. Why are you gay? Oh, that's a good one. That's for you and the butthole girl. I know that one. I don't like men no more. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. Wow. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you, you have a brand. We have, we have one more. <laughs> hey. Disgusting feathers. Don't, don't call us that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're all lightly homoerotic or Trump yeah. quotes. They're yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, we, uh, which hey, we there's one here. that is a Trump quote and it's lightly homoerotic. I'm sure there are several. <laughs> I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so those are my sexual escapades. No run-ins with the police during those. Hey, listen, sometimes these uh, these episodes are fights. Sometimes they're arrests. Sometimes they're jail. Sometimes they're dating. And this is a dating this episode, This is a dating baby. episode. I brought a little romance I to the it. pod. I love it. This is you getting beat. Little romance no, to the pod. I brought a little romance to the pod. And then somebody Hey, just no, ro- it's somebody. not little, dude. You know, a lot of people I know would think it's perfectly average. It's big romance. That's got to be the clip. I brought a little romance to the show. And then the <laughs> next thing is she pulled down her pants <laughs> Asshole Puss, pussy and asshole face. in my face. That's wild. Yeah, I didn't How was it? it uh, you? Why did you live in New Orleans? I graduated from college. I had a friend who was like interning for a summer. Yeah. So, so I just was like, fuck it. I'll just wait tables and go have fun. It's great. And then I he left and I stuck around for another nine months. Yeah. I mean, it was just too much fun. I had one, Once I left, I had to leave. It was yeah. like, yeah. this is just, the party is just nonstop. Yeah. It can be Sunday night at 2 a.m. and you go out and you're definitely not alone. Oh, dude, that's how I felt when I went to uh, I went to Rockaway. What was that? What the fuck was that? What was that? I don't know. Wow, that was. It uh, sounded like a toilet flush or something. 
Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't even know if you could hear it. Frightening. No, I think you could. Sound like a flyby, jet flyby. Oh my god, there's gonna be some editing on this part. Uh, no, no we don't way. Edit anything, <laughs> baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Except raw. earlier when you said the N word, we'll take that out. Thank um, you. I appreciate it. No problem. That. Yeah, yeah no I've problem. got. Although I do have jury duty later, so how quick can we get this out on the air? <laughs> 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 I'm not sure I'll be fit for it. So you're telling me if they say yes tonight, I'm in jury duty tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. In the morning? Yes. Oh. Like 8 a.m. Oh, better be close. <laughs> it's, I mean, for you, dude, I think I'm going to have to drive to Riverhead. That's like three hours away. Well, it's time you change your address, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in different apartments like every single year. I'm not going to change my Spit address. Spit out that teed every already. Time I, <laughs> every time I move, you know, my parents' house is my mailing address. Yeah, I get and uh, that's where I keep it, right? You're the same. Right. Also, my vote means more on Long Island than it, it uh, does here, yeah. you know? The that's debt why, collectors have no idea where I am. Exactly. That's why, that's why I still vote in Pennsylvania. That's mm-hmm. why I still Do you? Nah, I didn't vote last time. Oh, shucks. This I time you will. Trump, Trump, Trump. There, were, there was a... That's uh, right. It was so funny. We were, it was after a show, and this dude was all fucked up talking to us. And uh, he's he's talking to me and the other comic, like, you guys are libbies, I'm guessing. Fucking libbies. And I was like, I don't know, man. I don't really care. He's like, you voted for him, huh? Like, talking about Biden. Like, you voted for him. You voted for him. I was like, dude. Yeah, yeah, I did, man. I voted for him in three states. Um, I was like Pennsylvania, New York, Philadelphia, yeah. and he was like, "You motherfucker!" He was getting so mad at me. He's like, "I just can't believe it." And then, like, I forget all about this dude. A fucking hour later, he comes over with his buddy and's like, "This is the guy." Voted said he voted for him in three states, and I'm like, I, one of them was Philadelphia, man. You should have got it was a joke that Philly's not a fucking state. <laughs> I, I I was really hoping it was going to be like uh, he said something like you voted for you're a Libby, aren't you? You're a Libby, and you're like, excuse me, sir, you're interrupting. As I was saying, red meat gives me nightmares, <laughs> 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 really bad ones too. Yeah, rats invading my home. Like that Trump's I back in God, office. Damn. <laughs> I worked hard for that home in my in my dream. That's right. You know, and yeah. then there's rats just invade. It was in a really bad neighborhood. What was your job in the dream? Was it? Huh? That's What's what your... I was gonna say. That's a great question. Here's the here's the real question. Were you happy? I don't think I was. No. Were you living by yourself, or were you still living with your girlfriend? I was with my girlfriend, and for some reason, uh, my grandfather lived there, and Buzz Lightyear was there. Um, so it was like a lot of. You know, oh, so it wasn't even your house. Your, no, it was, was your my. I was house. I was clearly the homeowner because I was mm. taking I was taking initiative. Wasn't happy though. That wasn't happy. Not happy. Yeah, who's I, gonna be happy with rats in their house? Kind of a scary neighborhood. I bet when you got a little drunk and got on the highway driving about ninety, you felt happy for a second though when your song came on. In the stream? Yeah. <laughs> felt young and gun. In real life, I got drunk and drove down the highway at sixty five <laughs> miles an hour, tried to put my song on and uh crashed. Mm. So I got my DUI. Did you? Yeah. This has been explored already, I assume. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. A little bit. You got a DUI? <clears throat> yeah, I got a DUI in Pittsburgh almost ten years ago. That's ten years ago, this uh memorial. We'll wipe day. it off the record soon. Oh That's my god, I'll have to put that on my calendar. It was about to be expunged. I'm having a big party. We're gonna that was on Memorial Day? Memorial Day weekend, yeah, it was the first weekend I ever uh, featured at a comedy club, like the full weekend. Oh. I went out, I was... Uh, you wanted to celebrate. Got wasted and uh, was on my phone trying to find the perfect song. Of course. Never found that song, and uh, and I crashed, <laughs> and a uh, lady woke me up. I was in my car, and uh, then I tried to start it again, because I was like, oh, yeah, we got to get out of here. And when I started it again, the song finally came on. <laughs> Carry him out. <laughs> no, it was Jackson 5's I Want You Back. <laughs> I want a song that is consistently played on the radio. So if I ever probably that, waited. T- blood dripping down between his <laughs> eyes and just wakes up. A, B, C. Yeah, you told the the best part about that story is that he was bleeding and he ruined his khakis. Yeah, it had a little Aww. trickle of blood right here and it ruined my favorite pair of khakis. They Aww. were like they're like semi corduroy, but not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get blood out. Could, like, could never find those again. Can't I couldn't. Yeah, if Old someone Navy. knows how to get blood out of clothes though, we're sitting next to him. That's right. Type one murderer. <laughs> <laughs> it's I was born with it. Murder in the first type, <laughs> Your Honor. Type one. 
<laughs> that uh, is how you can get out of jury duty is just talk like a complete asshole, you know, just, uh, hey, is this like a type one murder case or type two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels like a type two. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to be a detective. Yeah, dude, if you say that, the defense will want you. My aunt's a fortune teller, so uh, <laughs> it's in the blood. <laughs> yeah, my, my aunt told me coming here that this guy was uh, guilty, so I'm excited to hear the evidence to aunt, see if she's true. Aunt Sue's never told a lie. Never told a lie. All right. <laughs> I'm saving all of us time. <laughs> all right, you know, we're going to put you as an alternate, but we might use you. That's how crazy the, the pool is. You just fucking ruined my night at the start of this podcast. I didn't realize. I thought it was going to be like three weeks away if they did it. Oh, no. It's no. tomorrow. Uh, they run a pretty What's your number? My juror number? Yeah. I don't no, know. how many women have you slept with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He what, changes the what, subject. What's real your abruptly. body count? Yeah. How, many, how many? Murder or sex? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the answer is four. Oh, I think I'm like four, yeah. four, four 309 or something. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like. 1987 or something like that and on Except monday man. they got up to like 17 so i'm definitely getting called tomorrow uh, yeah i know i gotta have to take a train to long island tonight is it possible that i'm gonna have to call again in like three days i think you gotta call every day until they get to your i mean you got the your, selection yeah but then they might you know at the end of the week if they don't call you then you're good to go oh that's how it works yeah in pennsylvania it was way different thank god we have a lawyer here you know, I'm happy to help. No, I just read the form, actually. <laughs> oh, really? I also might be giving you wrong information. You uh, just did totally opposite. I skimmed, I skimmed County. the form. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I skimmed the form. I didn't read it. I was so pissed. I was like, oh. How are you with taxes? Can you do anything with taxes? Oh, uh, yeah. You just call and say you don't want to pay, and then they're, Well, you know. here's the thing. I got a feeling I'm going to get in just a little bit of trouble with my taxes. Well, don't say it on the it's podcast, dude. At least there's no public record. That's true. <laughs> Wait Why second. do you think you're going to get in trouble? I haven't paid in, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, don't do it. Six years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, did, I, I do think I, I, I filed a tax return, I think. Okay, that means How do you not know? <laughs> that means you probably uh, well, did it. Because I have a lady that does it, and, you know, her cat died. I, I love her very oh, much. You told me and about And we're not this. drinking right now. Her yeah. cat died, and she lost your form well, in her in her depression. Is this an accountant or your girlfriend? An accountant. Okay. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta fucking, I gotta call this Her lady. cat died? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what goes on in my accountant's life. Oh. Zero call, questions I, outside I of my I talk to my accountant taxes. twice a year, and I go, okay. Here's all my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they file it. And then I go, call them again. I go, it's all filed? Good. Thank I, you. I say the same thing, except I, I go, uh, be aggressive with write-offs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always end it with that. <laughs> they go, all right. <laughs> well, my, well, my You're getting audited. Are, <laughs> my taxes are very difficult. Because I don't pay taxes throughout the year. I'm a lot 1099. Yeah, me I'm neither sure. now. It sucks. Uh, that's how I've this been year's up brutal. until this year for the, the last, last six couple years. Of years. Yeah. I'm supposed to do quarterly taxes. Never do it. Yeah. Never do it. Then I owe something at the end and I fucking <sighs> have to bust have my to, ass for two months. Yeah. I'm going to have to pay. I got, a lot I got audited year. in 2017. Did you? Yeah. You pass. I, what do you mean? <laughs> You're not in jail. So yeah. 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 I did pass. I, I did have to pay a, a money, but he, but here, here, here was the great thing about it is the government, uh, they would just, they just took like. Like they were trying to charge me like eight grand. They fined me eight grand. Sure, they called it paying taxes. <laughs> <laughs> but I but I had never paid like like any time I had ever done an income tax in my return like return in my life up to that point, I got money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time they were like asking for eight grand. So then what I did is I just went through every single like date that I had that I did comedy mm -hmm. and like Word document it was like spent this on this, spent this on this, yeah, spent yeah. it and sent the word document in and they're like, All right, give us two grand. If you have, oh, your, if you have nice. your shit together, if you have your shit together and you're making some decent money from comedy, like you can write off so much shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mileage, transportation. Clothes. Uh, I don't know if you can do clothes. I think you can do a, pr clothes, a portion of it. Okay. Computer, camera. Oh, absolutely. You can use, yeah, you can I write. I think you can do like internet. This is a in home studio. I think I can write off a piece of my apartment. Drinks and food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, and that's the one. You're having a couple of drinks. You're never like, oh, yeah, could I have that receipt? Like you really, no, but have it's to all if you together. pay on a credit card, that's fine. It's all yeah, on yeah, your credit card. Sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna. What are you gonna save your receipts for a year? Yeah, Jesus. I do. I do it with gas. Save my receipts. Mm, smart. 
Um, all right, dude. Okay, we're we're like lost we're in an hour, baby. Oh my god! Time flies. only four zins. I'm getting better. Did you have four? I had four. I only had two. Is that too yeah. many? Um, how many zins? Your, yours are six milligrams, though. Yeah. I use the babies. I know. I know. Sensitive guy. I don't really get what they do. They, you should they try one. You'll they get, get it. You stoned. Uh, it gives you a little buzz, and then you can't feel normal without it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the best. I think yeah. I've heard my dad say that sentence before. <laughs> yeah, That's nice, but man. a couple things. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, dude. Thank you for coming on, man. You yeah. want to tell Tills? the people where they can find you? This will be out tomorrow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, follow me at Jonathan Tilson, Tilson with two L's, and uh, also Explaining Show. That's my pod, uh, Explaining Things. That's on all platforms. Nice. Also, YouTube? YouTube, baby. Apple Bar? It has a video component. We're fancy like yeah, that. Yeah, baby. Here. Thanks Hell for having yeah. me, though, guys. This is fun. I'm Dude, glad we finally did it. Thanks for doing it. Thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah, make sure to give uh, Tilson a follow. Fucking, he's hilarious. And uh, give me a follow if you haven't already. I'm at Razor Wadney on all social media. Uh, this uh, coming uh, March 1st, I'm recording a special at Soul Jules. Woo! Oh, shit. In, uh, bang, bang, Potts, baby. Pottsville. So uh, come on out to that two shows. I would love to have you out there. If you're in awesome. that area. It's striking distance from Philadelphia. Um, I'm not famous enough to do one in Philadelphia, so I got to go yet. to the outskirts. And uh, you can see me every, every single fucking Wednesday here on the Troublemakers Podcast with my good pal, Dylan Krasinski. Dylan, where can they find you? At Dylan Krasinski on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And at Troublemakers on all of those sites. We post clips from the episodes three, four, five, sometimes six times a week. Uh, thank you for Tilson for coming on. And we'll see you next week, baby. Good night. Bye.